the hell is that? Ugh. You know how it is, guys. When you're cruising along the beach, you see some rubbish, just pull over and get it. It's actually kind of fun. I better use this. Oh, wow. Fun to climb. I was just flying the drone and I've discovered these um, like bommies just out there probably I don't even know not not very far off the shore and um, I don't know if you can see that a couple hundred meters out there so it looks like there's fish on it so what I'm gonna do is all I've got is a spear gun and a mask in the car um, and I'm just gonna go check it out I might be able to get something I got no other gear so Fingers crossed, but I'm fucking it. You got my back strider? Okay. All right. Strider's keen. Strider's keen. All right, so if I walk out to where those birds are, and then straight behind those birds, follow this exposed reef out to the point, and then jump off to them bombies. It should be okay. Literally all I have is this brand new YBS Seeker mask, which I'll uh, open up and uh, I don't have a snorkel or anything and I've got a gun that's just been living in my car so this could be epic. These masks come with this like uh, coat over the lens which protects it in storage and stuff. It's getting lighter and running on the inside. It burns off that layer of protection and that really, really helps it from not fogging, so we'll quickly do that before we hop in the water. Don't know if you could see that in the GoPro, but you could actually see that that layer burning off then. So um, let's see how we go. It's low tide, super low tide. Big <laughs> strider. I tell you what, it looks so much more inviting on the drone, that's for sure. I'm starting to think this wasn't like the best idea, but I'm gonna go through with it. There's a plane going over me right now and they're probably thinking, what the hell is this guy doing, eh? Let's go get dinner! Let's go get dinner, baby! All right, here goes nothing. Oh my Jesus, this is overkill, boy. We're heading that way.
I just found Bummy with my drone, thought I seen fish on him, got the mask and a gun out of my car, swam out blindly, no snorkel, no other gear, and popped a well sized blue bone, perfect eating. Oh, I am so happy right now. Woo, woo, woo! Straight out, go on! It's so far away from the car. I can't believe it works, man. I honestly can't believe that worked. <gasps> and I'm cold. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Strata! Strata was a fish! <laughs> I think that might be the first drone swim off the beach and shoot a fish ever. Oh, the tide's coming in. Getting closer to the car now. Woo! Oh yeah, fuck, I gotta go blame this thing. I think it's dead now, but quickly take it off a spear and get it to the car. I'm sorry. Oh, I got him really good. Oh, that's it. Look at that. Quickly get him back. Leave the gun there. Get him back. We'll get it. Nice. Sorry, mate. Just leave it. So what I just did there, as I told you before, I just brained it. So I, I tried to give it the quickest death possible. That was a bit hard to do because I was, you know, three or four hundred meters offshore. Sliced its throat, so the flesh is a lot nicer to eat later. Gets rid of all the blood. And. Uh, 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 I need to get my gun and give this a, give this a wash. How good's this? A beautiful blue bone, well over legal size, perfect eating. I still can't believe that that happened. Got it with the seeker mask straight out of the box. If you want one of these, head to www.youngbloods.co or the links in the description and check them out. They are so good. I am stoked. Well. I was just thinking, I actually can't cook this this afternoon. I've got nothing really to cook it with. And the sun's setting, so I'm gonna head back in and we'll cook this thing up first thing tomorrow and start the day off right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> how beautiful that is, hey? Sun's just setting. I'm just on my way back in towards town now. I'm pretty far out of town, so it's a bit of a drive, but this is, this is, this is so good. Hey, Strady. Ah, oh, good morning, everyone. Yesterday afternoon was so much fun. We're back down the beach this morning, and we're going to cook up that blue bone that we caught. Got the ski today, got the Strader dog. Well, first thing, we'll make a little fireplace. Can't forget the number one rule. Always wear protection. Oh, check this guy out. Big gnarly black wasp. I don't even know what it's called. There's like 10,000 species of wasps in Australia. But these ones hurt like shit. I've been stung before. Man, the, the wasp around here, one of their main foods is big huntsmen, like big spiders. They like take them down. So I'll just see if I can use this to trap the wasp. And then I'll, uh, I'll just place it on my arm and see if I can provoke it to uh, sting me. Most of the time they don't want to, so we'll see what happens and uh, get ready for some pain. Oh. 
All right, I actually got another one. Oh yeah, look at these things, man. I'm sorry, buddy. They are gnarly. One, two, all right, here we go. Oh no. Uh oh. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Alright. Alright, there you go. He's been in there for like five minutes and he would not bite me, so I'm just gonna let him go. Fuck. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. There you go. There he goes. Well, sorry I didn't get stung, but. I mean, I tried and he just would not get his stinger out and sting me. So, at least you got proof that you don't have to be afraid of getting stung by any wasps, really. Like, you really have to stand on them or squish them or just be at the wrong place at the wrong time. I really got distracted then, so let's go uh, make this fire, eh? Holy shit, so I was just about to start that fire and a couple of whales are swimming past right out there. Um, so I'm gonna fly the drone up and see if we can film them. A few things you gotta worry about when you're droning, but a few guidelines you gotta follow. You have to be at least 300 meters away from the whales. So this footage might not be the greatest because I have to stay 300 meters away, but I can zoom in and uh, these, these drones are quite high quality. So, so hopefully I can get you some good shots. That was so sick to watch like they did not stop doing that it could be like a mating thing like the female rolls on her belly and the male throws his tail like i don't know i'm 1.4 kilometers away with the drone so i'm just cruising back now the battery's getting low and uh i still haven't made a fire yet so i gotta do that that was so sick Fire's ready to light, so we might grab this blue bone, quickly take the fillets off it and prepare it, and then get ready to cook her. There it is. Just gonna quickly get into this, because I am starving now, hey, I haven't eaten. It's not even breakfast anymore, it's like lunch. <laughs> I got so distracted.
So the reason why we call them blue bone, other names are tusk fish, is because they have a blue bone that runs down the back there. You see that? See that blue bone? These are not, not your typical grazer fish. They do not feed on, on the reefs or anything like that. They feed on crabs and crustaceans and all that sort of goodness. Yeah, good girl. You know, they say that the eyeball I don't even know what they say, but I'm going to eat it just to see what it tastes like. Well, the goo's not bad. But the shell, I don't know if I'm going to swallow that. It wasn't even that bad, I don't even know what Bear Grylls is sooking about. Man up. <laughs> It's off. A few flies around today. Mm -hmm. Find breadcrumbs and some salt and pepper in, a, in one of these Ziploc reusable bags. One of the things that I do if I'm cooking this down the beach and it works so well, is just before you drop it in the mix, go wash them in salt water. One, it cleans them. Two, it's just like a salty flavour and the, the mixture actually sticks to the salt so much better than anything else. So let's do that. You just have to shake it around. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have fire, baby. Yes. Burn. <laughs> oh. It's too windy, it's like blowing all the sand over the hot plate, so... I'm gonna cook as much as I need for today. Um, the rest I'll bring back home with me and I'll cook tonight for dinner. Have a little snooze, Jody, hey? Oh! Golden! Look at that! Woo! Oh man, they smell so good. Oh my god. Look at that. That is so, so good. Mmm. Alright guys, that's it for another episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. A big shout out to our YBS family. If you want to join it, www.patreon.com slash youngbloods or the links in the description no i just dropped some anyway we're gonna get into some more of this tucker and uh hopefully that wind drops we'll put the ski in we're out there strider see ya follow huh see you guys <laughs>